All right, I'm back again with a couple more journal um, flip throughs. This is a travel journal. It's normally the size we use for for a travel journal, which is generally about four and a half wide by seven and a half to eight long. On this particular one has a has a um, band around it to close it with a little Eiffel Tower charm and a flower. Take that off. Just slides right back on when you're finished. The front cover is a piece of scrapbook paper that I used. And I printed out on my computer some uh, words that say travel journal. The spine has a piece of lace. The back is scrapbook paper. Open it up. First paper has some travel. as a girl looking out into the water to a ship. Little um, journal card. Here's from the White Star Line, somebody's, somebody's Pass, First Class Passenger Ticket. Y'all know what that, what that ship was, the one that sank. Some space for journaling. Sometimes I put these little photograph cards, these are from Tim Holtz, and I put these in to show you that you can, you can clip your things too to the pages. You don't have to keep these in there, but I, I just include them with so you can get an idea of what you can do. It's a belly band on this page with a tea dyed paper. These travel journals are popular for when, as the name suggests, for when you travel and you can keep and tuck away all your little um, things that you get as you travel and make notes and write, write how, how your day is going. As you're writing in your journal, sometimes it's a good idea to put in um, a hardbacked magazine or something on, on the back so that it makes it easier to write so you don't run into um, the ephemera that's on there. This is an envelope and it has some some paper in there for writing on. The journey begins. You can list your itinerary on there, perhaps. It's an old library card system, the way they used to do it. Journaling card. More paper for writing. Here's some music sheets. It will have to do until the real thing comes along. Butterflies. This is a little clip that I learned how to make on G. Kerr, K E R R. Her first name is G. G I. And uh, she makes some really cool things on her channel. You might want to uh, tune in to see her. It's a little paper clip with hearts. Bicycle. This is a place to write. Another little band. You can this is like a little book in here. Has some tiny little pages. Maybe write a special adventure on there. These to the side are, are paper or fabric. In this case, fabric ruffles that I sew on the machine.
maps. Here's another example of Tim Holtz's photograph. Made to look like the old photo booth shots. And this is the last page. It has some extra writing materials in it. Some traveling par paraphernalia. And the back of the book. I'll show you another another journal. This one's called a food journal. And it also has a band that goes around it to close it. And it has a um, little butterfly pinned on there. And of course butterflies on the on the paper. That can be taken off so that you can open up the book. And this is a food journal, could be a food diary, could be a place to keep your recipes, etc. Has a pocket in the front. This is some paper that ha happened to have a gingerbread recipe on there. And inside the grocery store receipts. A party without cake is just a meeting. That's the way I feel. Food, glorious food. Little watermelon paper pocket with a little note in there. Sweet life. Place to write. It's a little envelope with a really tiny card with uh, little cookies on it. Use your imagination what you could put in here. An old fashioned chef. Here's some um, paper. I got this off of uh, a digital from somebody I'm not quite sure who. It might have been Artie Mays. And here's a, a paper clip with a little picture of a pie on there. It looks like lemon pie. And that's used to close the envelope, which has a card in there. Actually, this opens up. It's quite a lot of space. You can put photographs of your food or uh, recipes or whatever. Perhaps plan a party. This journal would be ideal for somebody that's really into cooking. Here's some old paper with uh, menus on it. So another piece of the watermelon paper with a little jar right on the back. Writing paper. There's another sack. Um, some paper and a uh, recipe card. There's the middle part, which you could journal on there very easily. Some more uh, food icons and great things take time. There's a little tuck spot that says explore, dream, discover. And then it flips out. It's a Rita Donnelly flip. Rita Donnelly is the person that invented it evidently and that's why they call it that. Card that fits inside. On the back of a recipe card. This lady in her apron. Some more journaling area. Space. Another uh, photograph. Journaling card. A list. Photograph. Journaling card. Uh, 
recipe cards, a doily. Here's another real paper clip, recipe cards in here. And a few more recipe cards. Okay, and that's the back page. Closes it very easily. These two journals that I just showed you will be available on my Etsy store, which you can reach by click it, clicking the um, my Etsy shop in the corner of the, the top banner on my channel. And this one in the, that was in the previous video is also available on my Etsy shop. I'll try to put those in within the next few days. I want to thank you for joining me today for a preview of some of my journals. This is Chris at Peace of Mind, Art and Crafts. Please check out my channel and give me a like and possibly subscribe if you want to see additional videos later on. I'm just getting started, so but I am having a lot of fun. So I want to wish you all peace of mind. Thank you. Bye now.